Hello. I know it's been quite a while since I made a video, but you know, you need moving and stuff. It's still. Why is it still awkward? It shouldn't be. I'm just going to talk normally. Okay. Now, in the comments in my last video, someone asked me if I could make a dragon. And I said yes, because I thought I could. But it turns out what I can make is a lion. Um, but the face still looks quite like a dragon, so I'm going to make that. <laughs> and I hope you'll forgive me. Okay, so first of all, get your coloured piece of paper and hold it like a diamond. And fold in half like this. Okay, like that. And then you unfold it. The only reason you have to fold it in the first place was so that you could get the middle line. Next, you want to fold corner so that it lies along the line like this okay like this and then you do the same so it's hard to do this without looking at it do the same with the other side don't know if you can hear that but the girl who lives next to me has just fallen off her chair there we go like that Okay, now you want to fold the base like this until it touches the edge of your fold here, like this, okay? Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. I said okay again, didn't I? Anyway, there you go. Okay, okay, and then you fold the bottom up like this to make the mouth like this. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out on pattern card, but there we go. Mm -hmm. the mouth of it. Okay, and then you take the point and you fold down so that it makes like a little concertina. Hold it sideways so just press down like that. Okay, so it looks like that. So you basically, this would have been an easy way, you just fold it down and then fold it a little bit up again like that to create the nibs. Okay, and now to begin making the eyes, so you fold corners to make little tri white triangles like this. Like that, white triangle. Okay. And then fold the other corner the same way. Like so. Okay, and then to make the pupils you fold <laughs> you fold the corner of the triangle back up to make the base. And then once again you do the same with the other eye. So it looks like that. There's the eyes, the nose and the mouth. And then leaving about maybe the tip of your finger's width here, fold down. It touches between the middle of the eyes like this. Now we make the ears by folding down to the corner of the eye. And there's the ear. And then do the same with the other side. There we go, like that. At the moment it kind of looks a bit like a bulldog, <laughs> to be honest. This didn't work with pattern paper, did it, at all? Nope. Then turn it on its back and fold the little triangles where its ears meet its face so that, it, so that you create a straight line down the side, like this. And you have a little triangle pocket there. And do the same to the other side. Fold. So it is like this. So it's a straight line and you have a little pocket. Good indication of how far to fold is so that you basically cut off the little triangle of the ear so that you've just got another little diamond for the ear like that instead of having it like a big rectangle. This is probably you're gonna have to do this on your board or on your desk or whatever. Take the little triangular flap here and press it until keeping hold okay keeping hold of this bit grab the triangular flap and press until you flatten it out 
Right there, so it protrudes a bit out of the side. And that is one ear finished. And do the same to the other side. And there you have your lion slash bulldog face slash dragon, which, yeah, sorry about that. It ended up being a lion, which then ended up looking like a dog. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay. <clears throat> There's a more requests next week. I will be making a turtle, which will be cute. <laughs> yeah, and <clears throat> thank you for watching. I will be doing these videos more regularly, hopefully, if my schedule of study and stuff allows it. Bye!